Hey everyone, this is Katrina of KT Cat Studios and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for finding my channel and I'm glad that you made it today. Today's project is going to be a different one compared to the ones that I've been doing in the past. And this one is kind of a heart project. I belong to a group on Facebook called Fussy Cutting Cuties. And the brainchild behind this particular group is a lady named Paula G and another lady named Kelly Banks. Kelly Banks is a graphic artist by trade and Paula G is a world traveling crafter. She loves sticking things on paper as easy as it can be. She tries not to have her crafts overcomplicated, but they turn out so cute and so darling. So there's an inside joke in the group that we have squirrels or we're chasing squirrels or squirreling, you know, squirrel moments. A lot of us have ADHD and we focus or we micro focus and all of a sudden we're focusing on something else. So Paula G and Kelly Banks decided to come up with a mascot for us. And it's this guy right here. His name is Sprinkles the Squirrel. Or I apologize, it could be a girl too. So I'm just going to call him Sprinkles. And then Kelly was nice enough to make one without holding scissors. For the ones that might have had kids back in the late 90s or early 2000s, there's a book series called Flat Stanley. And our children brought home this drawing that they made. And then they were supposed to take Stanley on adventures. So we go places and take pictures of Stanley with us. So they encouraged us to do the same type of thing with these. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut these out and laminate them and take them on adventures and see where Sprinkles wants to go. Well, as I mentioned, we do everything not really fancy dancy in the group, but we are allowed to get fancy dancy at times. And so there was some ladies in the group that decided that we needed a solid <laughs> Sprinkles of Squirrel. And so when one sees it, we all see it and we all rush off to the store to get it. Um, this particular squirrel came from Target and I apologize that it's dismantled already. I was trying to prep it before um, I started recording today so I could save a little time. And in the process, I injured myself, but hey, that's okay. It's all for crafting. So this little guy had a bow tie on it, which I didn't care for. And it was holding, instead of scissors, it was holding this acorn, which was screwed on the back. So I don't know if I'm going to use this or this might be a um, takeoff or something else. Haven't decided yet. But the main focus right now is that I'm going to be able to, to the best of my ability, I'm gonna paint this little guy or gal. You know what? It sprinkles the squirrel and mine's a boy. There, it's settled. <laughs> so I'm going to paint him just like this and I found some of the paints in my paint stash. Um, these all are, are also from Target, handmade modern, but unfortunately they changed their names. So I'm sorry you will not be able to find this exact paint. But I figured it was coral due to how my printer printed it out and I did it at the highest setting on my fancy dancy paper, which I will link below. Remember, I have no affiliated links. I just like getting you there faster. And then the ears kind of look orange to me. So maybe this blood orange. And then what I might do is um, add some white to the coral to get this part of it. Then of course I have all these awesome teal and hot pink and chocolate brown and yummy yellow um, to put on the back of sprinkles for his decoration. So, like I said before, I dismantled it a little. I got myself some sandpaper at the dollar store. I got the fine grit, because if you get anything a little coarser, you'll take more off than what you want to do. So what my plan is, is I'm going to sand, try to get this as much off as possible, and then um, if it isn't as smooth as I think it is, then Sprinkles is going to be facing this way. 
But this side I'm still going to paint solid. I might just paint it in the fussy cutting colors, which is usually pink, mustard yellow, and I am blanking on the third color. I think it might be green. I'm not sure. And the reason I'm just going to do it solid and not try to do another side of the squirrel is that in July of next year, we're having our very first in-person gathering for the cuties in Texas. And the reason we're having it in Texas is because there is a really neat place in Round Top, Texas that Paula G does a lot of her events at and she wanted us to enjoy the amenities of that place also. So when this is solidly colored, I'm going to bring it with me with a Sharpie and I'm going to get as many autographs as I can all over the back of sprinkles because I think that would be a great memento for my trip. So now I'm going to put you on fast forward as I get sprinkles prepped for his paint job. Okay, I finished sanding both sides. I got it a little lighter and a little smoother so I think the paint will absorb a little better. And then I got it pretty smooth on the side that had the bow on it. Um, I think I'm going to dedicate this side to the side to do the autographs on and then this side because it's completely smooth even though there are the screws that go on this side. But you know what? That's okay. We'll figure that out. So. Um, the side for the autographs, I decided to dedicate as close as possible of the colors that are their theme colors. Um, I had a couple pinks. The other two um, were iridescent and kind of cotton candy pink. So I went with this particular one. It's like go pink or go home. And then for the teal type of color, I had some jade. I thought that was a pretty close color um, thing. And then this one, I didn't have anything that was mustard yellow, which is Kelly Banks' favorite color. So I had to make some of my own. It's been a while since I've had to mix colors. And what I did is I started with some yellow. This particular one is Marigold. Then I added a wee bit of orange, stirred it up, and then I did brown, because one site said yellow, brown, orange in certain measurements made mustard yellow, and another site said yellow, brown, orange, and red. So I wasn't s satisfied with it. See, it's kind of like, kind of a dark orange there. See, messy hands, happy life. But then once I got it with a little of the red, I really liked how that came out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint that one side, these colors, and then when it's completely dry, I'm going to then color the other side. But I don't know how much paint this particular wood is going to absorb. So instead of doing coat after coat, because I only have so much of this mixed up, and it's been a while since I mixed colors. I used to mix colors when I dyed yarn, and so I was able to know how to do a ratio to have a large quantity of my dye in case I ran out so I could dye. So before then, as and I'm not gonna bore you, wa you watching me do this part, but I have Economy Gesso, I'll link it down below where you can find it. And I'm going to put it all over it and let it completely dry. So then it's more like a canvas than this porous wood. So stay tuned. Okay, friends, it took longer than I thought for this to dry. So I just waited 24 hours before applying any of the paint. Um, the paint that we're going to do right now. This still, it kind of filled in the part where the the scarf was. So just to make it 
nice for myself I'm going to use this side to decorate in the three colors for the autograph part so I have Kelly Banks favorite colors of teal my version of mustard yellow and pink so we're gonna see how this goes um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it in blocks or I'm just going to just Go a little rogue and blotch it all around. So here we go. Okay friends, I finished painting this side of sprinkles. I decided to do more a uh, larger area of the teal and the mustard yellow than the pink because I thought that looked really cool. Even though this side is going to look like sprinkles, I decided to go ahead and match the um, tops and sides with the colors that I just painted to give more of a finish look. And then I painted the base with the three colors. I'm probably gonna have to go over those a couple more times until I'm satisfied with it. The paint's still a little wet. But remember, messy hands, happy life. So what we're gonna do now is flip sprinkles over and do a little sketching. Okay, here's the large um, picture of sprinkles that I printed up on highest quality of my printer. And even though it printed out more of this coral, like I spoke about before, it actually, sprinkles is supposed to be this pink color. But, um, since there's like this hot pink here, I think I might just keep it low key or come back and use the pink that I used on the other side and then um, tone it down with some white. So even though we don't have these large ears, his tail is two-toned. I know some people in our group saying that Sprinkles is a girl, but I have it as a boy. <laughs> so I'm going to now try to sketch out some of the dominant lines and then the nose and then the eye and then maybe a little of the ear. Um, and then we'll go from there to start painting it. didn't want to waste any more time lapse of you guys watching me trying to get this eye the way I wanted it. Um, she started looking like little orphan Annie. So um, I just did this off camera. I'm not too keen on this second little line kind of facing because Kelly's drawing is more a 3D drawing and this is not 3D. So I think I'm gonna go for the nose here. And then if I do, because that is how Sprinkles was drawn, then once I paint it all, I might come back in and do a little. If I just bring it down a little more like that. Because it's supposed to have his smile in there. So see how the nose is and then the smile comes up within that area. Well, this guy doesn't have that luxury. So, the only thing I could think of is if I started at the top of the nose like she did and then just bring it down. 
and then maybe nope that looks like the joker um yeah sorry kelly i might just have to alter your design just a little there we can just have a generic smell there okay so here's the outline of the foot hind corners and i got outlines of the tail the ears the eye nose and mouth now we get to paint okay i decided i'm going to use this particular pink this is full strength then i put a little in this part and this part this one i added a lot of white to this one i added kind of white to so we have that, that, and that. It's um, it's just a little subtle between the three, but I think it will look really, really cute on this. So here we go. friends I um, did a couple more coats of paint um, it's still wet so you probably can't see the definition yet so what I'm going to do while this is drying because I because of it being wood and the type of acrylic paint I'm using I'm probably gonna have to do a couple more coats so it'll be nice and solid like I did on the side even though you could kind of see the grains wood which I think is cool so what I'm going to do now while we're waiting for that to dry is to try to do a little detail of the rest of the head and I'm taking artistic liberty and then using the yellow to paint inside the ears <laughs> Okay friends, it's finally dry. I had to use my blow dryer on it to get it to the point where we can finish this project. And now instead of using a Sharpie, I'm going to try my best without messing up using this artist pen. It has a big brush. It's black 199. And it has a tip. So it's just like drawing with a pen, but it's paint, so you could kind of go thick. I use it usually just for art marks when I do my different type of, um, oops, my different mixed media. So I already did a test run on the eye, and I think it looks pretty good. So we're just going to start finishing the details. Here's the original sprinkles and here's my version um, the interesting thing is that here it printed up pink I had it on the best setting I have all new inks um, I guess I just need to mess around with the settings but I like this the sprinkles um, flat Stanley version so now all that is left is the fun part 
putting sprinkles down the back. So I'm going to probably start here and then work this way outline of the tail. go some of it didn't show up as well as I thought it would it's not as vibrant and popping and I know I added a little more bling than the original sprinkles but I am very happy the way it turned out thank you for joining me today Thank you for watching. Remember, messy hands, happy life. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.